Hi everyone and welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, having a lovely day and if you're celebrating it today, happy Valentine's Day. So recently I went on a little bit of a shopping spree. The last one of these kind of um, high street fashion and beauty hauls I did was back in the autumn. So I thought I would just do a little video so we can all have a look at what I got together. So here we go. So the first thing is probably my favourite of everything that I got. Um, there's not really that much in the shops at the moment because it's in that really awkward in between time of the year, February, so hopefully soon there'll be some really pretty spring things in, but this I saw and I just absolutely loved. So this is a skirt from River Island and it's this beautiful soft pink colour with this little um, tie around the waist and I don't know how well you can see but it's like um, a wrap around skirt in this faux suede material um, and it zips down the back. The only thing that annoys me about this, which you really won't be able to tell on camera, is where the um, where it wraps around and where the bit of material comes to in inside, you can kind of see that when you're wearing it, so it looks bumpy. But I'm going to just try and sort that out. I don't know what I can do about it, because I love it so much and I just think it would look gorgeous with a little sort of a thin knit grey jumper, like a cashmere one, obviously. I'm, it's very unlikely that I'm going to go and buy a cashmere one, but you know, that very soft knitted look. I just think that would look really pretty, but in the summer you could wear it with all different like little vest tops and things. So yeah, this was £35 from River Island and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Next I picked up a pair of jeans. Um, as you probably know, I live in jeans these days. And sorry if the light keeps changing, by the way, I don't normally film at this time of the day and the sun's coming in and washing me out and then it's going out again and it's driving me crazy, but hopefully it'll be okay when I come to edit this. So, anyway, stop rambling. I got a pair of Joni jeans from Topshop um, because they actually had my size for once. So I grabbed them while I saw them. They're in this sort of charcoal grey colour. I think these didn't have a tag on them, but I believe they're £38. And I just love these jeans. They're very high-waisted and they just, they're my sort of style. Um, I still love the Primark ones. I have a pair on right now. Um, but if I'm going to go for another high street brand of jeans, then I always pick the Joni jeans. But then I got a couple of jumpers from H&M, um, or H&M, H&M, H&M. I always say it wrong. Um, this one, which again is a really pretty soft pink, it's three quarter length sleeves and it just has this pretty sort of knitted design on it and it's very thin knit and I just really like it and I'll be able to wear that all the time with jeans probably <laughs> and I also got this jumper I just love H&M for basics really. That one was £14.99 by the way and this one was £12.99. It's sort of a creamy white colour with black stitches all the way through it. Long sleeves, fairly long jumper and you can just pair this with literally anything and just go head out the door. Um, so yeah, and it just has a neckline like this. So I really like that as well, obviously because that's why I bought everything. I always find the need to say I like it when it's probably quite obvious that I like it. So anyway, that's everything I got clothing wise. Um, like I said, there wasn't really that much around. It was a little bit disappointing. But I'm going to go straight on to makeup now because I got loads and I don't know how I'm going to get through it all in this video. So I first of all went to Kiko or Kiko, I don't know how you say it, cosmetics. I've seen a few people do hauls on this brand. Um, and it's been at Blue Water for a little while now. I've been in a couple of times because it's a full shop of makeup, which is really cool. Um, this is the first time I've ever actually bought anything because I ha had time on my own to actually look around and swatch things. And it was really nice. And it's really affordable. When I first went in there, I assumed it would be really expensive because it's a whole shop full of cosmetics. But it's really not at all. This whole I got three things and it came to £9 something. So anyway... Let's have a look in the bag. These are the purifying pads. They're astringent and purifying pads. So they're kind of like an acid toner for your face. I've had them before from other brands, but I thought I'd try these. They were only £3.90. And they just look like this. They kind of look like nail varnish remover pads. I've tried them once um, and they seem okay. I'll keep trying them and give them a go. Literally, I've just used one or two so can't really say too much about them yet but they they look nice they smell a bit strange but they do look good this is the 
Pro, uh, Power Pro nail lacquer. Um, they don't have names. I believe this is number 26. It could also be 82. <laughs> There's two numbers on the back, but if you uh, look at the top, it says 26 here. This is the colour. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it's this really gorgeous pale, like, muted, nudie pink. And it comes out, you just need one coat of it. It's very, very pigmented. Two coats would be, like, ideal, but you could get away with one. Um, in the shop it says this lasts for seven days. It doesn't. <laughs> Um, it lasts for just the normal sort of amount of time on me, but maybe that's because I'm doing fun things like washing up and looking after a baby, I don't know, but it, I love the colour, and it was only uh, £2.40, no it can't have been, yeah it was, £2.40, they had so many colours. And then this is the pencil lip gloss in number 7, again, as far as I know, none of them have any names, this was £2.70, so it's just like a pencil as you can see, it's very creamy, um, it does actually feel like a gloss, it's really weird because it's in pencil form, you wouldn't think it would. Um, it has a really nice colour to it, which is quite buildable. Um, it's just, it is really pretty. Again, I don't know how long it will last on the lips, I'm going to need to try it out and then report back to you. And then I went to Boots and went a little bit crazy. The first thing I got was the Sleek Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette. And Sleek, I didn't even realise, has been in Boots for a little while now, so that's really good because it used to just be super drug. Um, so it looks like this, this is what comes in it, and it's just like the trio of the bronzer, uh, highlighter and blush. Um, and I really like them. I did have another, I've had these before, but run out a while back and I was using a different thing for like contouring and highlighting, and which I didn't really like. Um, so I got this one and this is in light. So I picked that one up. And then sticking to palettes, I got this, which I am in love with. This is the 17 Easy on the Eye palette in Birthday Suit. That's what this palette's called. And it comes with a collection of eight matte um, shimmer and pearl powders, three metallic creams and one eye primer with an applicator and get the look guide, etc. and mirror. So it looks like this your usual kind of palette packaging and I don't really bother with the brush to be honest but it's so pretty the pinks in it oh my goodness again I'm loving like pink eyeshadow at the moment sort of like maybe a shimmery pink with something darker in the crease or I really love these um, creamy ones and this one here is the eye primer then there's the shimmer ones and some matte ones and the gold I just love it, and it was really inexpensive as well. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but this I would definitely recommend going and having a look at in boots. It's so, so pretty. Just look, I love it. So I'm going to be using this a lot now. This, which is by Bourgeois, this is the Rouge Edition uh, Nouveau Stick Precision Lipstick. And it looks like this. I decided to go for... A very pale sort of nudie pink which is great for those days where you just you don't want to wear a bright color like this you just want something that looks like a bit natural I hate to say it but like my lips but better color and it's in the shade 39 and to go with that I got the Maybelline New York uh, color sensational lip liner in 123 sweet pink now, I don't really buy that many uh, lip liners because I don't line my lips that much. But I do like the idea of it, especially with colours like this. I'm just going to swatch them both together. They're quite a good match, actually, even though they're from different brands. So, the top is the uh, lipstick and the bottom is the liner. And I've tried them together and they are a real winner. So, I love those for those days when I just want something nude. I picked up a couple of skin kind of cosmetic products. The first being Fix and Protect by Rimmel. This is the SPF 25 slash UV Shield. This is a makeup primer. I don't use makeup primers as much as I should because it's I'm just lazy and it's an extra step basically. But this is the uh, anti-pollution, anti-stress, protective shield, skin perfecting um, primer. Comes in a little tube and it just comes out like a white cream. Which just instantly makes your skin feel very silky and smooth. Basically I got this because 
I'm trying to find either a primer or a foundation that's going to help my skin. At the moment, I've been having a few breakouts here and there, which I do not like at all. Um, and I just, I don't know if any of you guys know of anything, but I want either a foundation with um, anti-blemish properties. I thought I'd give it a go anyway because something is better than nothing and it's got the SPF uh, in it as well which is good. Then I thought I'd try another foundation. I've tried quite a few lately so that could be the reason for some breakouts. Um, and I decided to go for the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum because I've heard so many good things. This is the gel foundation, uh, 16 hour radiance boosting. Um, yeah, basically. This is probably a little bit too light, light of a coverage for my skin. I do need something with heavy coverage, but when I do use something that's heavy, my skin breaks out. So I would rather like tone it back, use something where it doesn't quite cover my skin completely, but my skin can still breathe. And I love gel-based products, so the Healthy Mix sounded like a good option. Um, I got it in the colour Light Vanilla, which is a bit pale for me when I've put fake tan on. I look really pale today, because I haven't put any on. But, um, I like it. I don't love it. I'm going to persevere with it, because it looks a bit patchy when you first apply it. But after it's um, kind of absorbed, hopefully not absorbed into the skin, but you know, it's on your skin for a little while, it looks a lot better. So, let me know what your thoughts are on this. If you like it, you love it, hate it. Um... And I'm just, I'm going to persevere with it for a bit because it does feel nice on my skin, which is a plus. I also picked up another Garnier Micellar Water. I don't think I could live without this stuff in my life. <laughs> but they've brought out this Pure Active one, which removes makeup and cleanses and purifies. This is good for combination to oily and sensitive skin, which clearly mine is at the moment. Um, and I'm sure I saw on the advert that it helps with breakouts and acne. Um, so far, I'm loving it, just like I love the original one gets rid of all my makeup. I won't ramble on about it because I talk about it all the time, but this stuff is amazing. Then I picked up another Maybelline Lash Sensational, I can never say that fast, Lash Sensational, um, mascara. This one is in Intense Black. So I've had this before in the normal kind of black one, but this is Intense Black. To be honest, I don't really see that much of a difference. Maybe I'd have to do an eye by eye like um, comparison, but just seems like a black mascara to me. I love this one. It's not my favourite mascara in the world. My favourite mascara in the world is Benefit's Roller Lash. Um, but this is probably like a second, like second to that. So it's good enough for me. And then finally from Boots, I picked up two more nail varnishes. Like I need another nail varnish, especially in these colours. So I think these are new releases from Barry M. I haven't seen them before. I love when they bring out their new little ranges. This is the Manny Mask, um, a camouflage colour and condition. So even though it is a very pale pink, much like the Kiko Cosmetics one that I bought, um, it actually strengthens and conditions damaged nails. I think the point of it is to just condition your nails whilst having a little bit of colour so it's not meant to be really highly pigmented. And I think they were doing a two for six pounds on the nail polishes. So I got the Super Manny 7 in 1 treatment, which is in this range as well. Again, it's very similar. This one does a little bit more. It has um, keratin in it. It has argan oil. Basically, it's a twice weekly um, top coat and base coat. And again, even if you're not really bothering putting a colour on, if you just put this on and leave it, then it's going to do nothing but help your nails, especially if they're quite weak or if you like maybe have acrylics or gel nails quite a lot, this is quite a good one to put in between having that done. So pick those up, love those. Then finally, I headed to Lush. I didn't go that long ago. I've got a blog post on some things I bought um, in January, which I got through quite quickly, but I do love just going in there, picking up a basket, picking out a few little things, and then knowing that I'm gonna have some nice Lush baths like for the rest of that week or I can eke them out for a few weeks anyway and hello to the lovely girl that I was speaking to who watches my videos in there um we had a nice little chat and then I bought some stuff so really quickly I will go through what I got got a few old favorites and a couple of newbies I got twilight this is probably one of my all-time favorites it's just so gorgeous. Um, it goes a kind of uh, purpley colour in the bath because there's blue inside this. And 
It smells of lavender. It has like a malt scent in it. So it kind of just smells like like Johnson's baby bath or like a lavender milky drink of goodness. It just smells pretty, basically. Go and smell it. Um, this one is, oh, this is a new one that I haven't tried. I believe it's a Valentine's Day one. I was going to pick it up the other week and I forgot. This is the unicorn horn, which is the best thing I've ever seen. It's kind of like um, an iridescent colour. Like if you're actually looking at it, it's kind of shiny and like metallic y. And it's got all these pretty colours in. It's a bubble bar, which are my favourite things from Lush. And it's a unicorn horn, and I love unicorns. So, what is not to like about this, basically? I don't actually know what the scent is. Okay, there's lavender in it. Ylang Ylang and Neroli, which are beautiful essential oils. <laughs> so, there's just nothing bad I can say about that. That's just amazing. Two more things to go. Oh, I got this, which I've never had before either. But it seems right up my street. This is the Milky Bath. And it's a little milk bottle with a little silver lid. If it just smells very kind of um, warming and calming and comforting. I can't say it smells of milk, but it smells good. It's a bubble bar, again, which I love. And in it, there's uplifting orange. Oh, and semi-skimmed milk to treat your skin to a dose of happiness. Um, and cocoa butter for softness. Yeah, kind of. I'm getting that now. It has like an orangey citrus smell but with a milky undertone. That sounds disgusting, <laughs> but it's not. It's really, really nice. And I can see this making your bath go all like milky and soft. So I picked that one up. And then finally, this is definitely a very old favorite of mine. I don't even know why I initially ever tried it because it looks kind of boring and weird, but it turned out to be one of my favorites ever. Never, can never say it properly. Uh, Sarah Dwin's Cauldron. Cauldron. And if you watch all my old Lush hauls, this one goes way back. We're good friends, me and this bubble bath bomb. Luxury bath. Melt. So yeah, this is Sarah Dwin's Cauldron. And it's in this weird like little hessian bag that's tied with a red ribbon. Um, you don't take it out, you just plonk it in the bath like this. And inside is all kind of herbs and seeds and things. It smells beautiful like you're in a spa it's just got these amazing essential oils in it and again makes the bath go really milky so you're meant to be able to scrub your body with what's left inside here once this is all melted away but to be honest it kind of just goes a little bit soggy I've never really got that um, maybe I've made that up in my head somewhere along the line but it is an all-time favorite and I definitely recommend trying this out if you are looking for something new to try from Lush and you've never tried it before Thing. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I treated myself to recently. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite things are that I picked up and if there's anything here that you are now excited to try. I'll leave links to some of this stuff in the description below in case you want to go and check anything out. Um, also, my Instax camera giveaway is finishing today. It may have finished by the time this video goes up, but hopefully not. Um, so go over to Instagram to check who won. And if this is up before it ends, then... You can still head over there and enter. My last video will give you all of the details on that. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Bye.